if you like good character design, I highly recommend you read this series, just gonna say. So, uh, anyways, with that being said, Reincarnation Coliseum. It is a manga series I happen to just somehow come across, and what really caused me to start the said series was artwork of this said muscular character. And I was just like... What series is she from? That's like when I saw her I was just like I gotta know I gotta know what manga series she's from for reasons And so upon investigation and figuring out what it was it led me to reincarnation Coliseum and then I sat down and I read the series I read the first chapter and things slowly started to escalate as things went on from page to page as you could see here things just got even more wild to like s subject matters like this as you can see in the middle of the screen and i was like this is truly an unhinged manga that uh, i have obviously come across and so today i want to highlight reincarnation coliseum and talk about why you should potentially start it if you are a big fan of uh Stuff like this. So, uh, <laughs> shamelessness aside, let's really get into it, okay, and what it's actually about. So, basically, Reincarnation Coliseum starts off where our main male character, he is a typical otaku gamer nerd, someone that wins in almost every game he plays. One day, he gets summoned to another world. That is where the chapter, the first chapter of this manga series begins. You segue into the next moment, you find out the people that summoned him was pretty much this head priest that is very influential and powerful within this world that he was summoned to and basically the reason why she was trying to find powerful fighters from another world to be able to help her out so it seems like in this world it's common to summon people to fight for you it's very common so technically the MC in this world isn't the only person that has potentially been summoned to participate in different affairs of different countries etc around the world anyways pushing aside how massive of an obstacle cool this panel is we got to move into the next page which basically our head priest finds out that the mc has a worthless skill and typically in you know any form of a sekai reincarnated series transported to another world series the main mo character is blessed with some form of godlike move either they're god at everything whatever they do they automatically excel at it or maybe they're given a cheat skill or a copy skill something along those lines you know, we have seen this, you know, textbook example time and time again with multiple anime, multiple manga, multiple light novels. It is a very common theme within stories. So, obviously, the main male character is self-aware of the genre. He's self-aware of a sekai being given skills, etc. And when he heard something, like, called copy, he was like, that's a powerful skill. An extremely powerful skill. But in this case, the head priest was like, this is very trash. And because of her anger and finding out that she wasted a lot of money to summon our MC, she basically threw him into prison with this other main female character, and he's pretty much a slave to fight in the Colosseum like a gladiator. That is basically his objective, and that is the main premise or setting of Reincarnation Coliseum. Kind of plays into the title. So, anyways, with that brief description, you know, out of the way, we segue into the next moment where basically the whole gist of why the Coliseum happens, like what happens to the victor, what happens to the loser, and it's a very dire and bleak existence. For instance, whoever, let's say, wins gets to turn the person that loses into their own personal servant, and the person that is a servant, well, you can read the middle panel, and it pretty much outlines basically what will happen to the said loser. And even if theoretically, you know, you are, let's say, a dude, you're turned into a woman in this world. Just straight up, like a potion, etc., or magic is used to turn you into a woman. So you can kind of see where the story is actually going. Now, to be fair, I know that the premise of this seems like a, uh, a doujin plot or a H-tier plot. Like, I I'm very, very well aware of that. And it does push that border it pushes that boundary of going into that realm of like way too much but it doesn't completely cross it it does keep at a level to where it's like it keeps things vague enough to where it's like you you know what's going on but it doesn't show it but the point of the matter is is that this content is extremely unhinged very uncensored and it honestly to be completely blunt with you it is not a good story like i, I i'm gonna i'm just gonna say this before i go any further 
Reincarnation Coliseum is slop. It is definitely, the word I would probably use is a Sekai garbage or slop. That's exactly what this is. It is not good in terms of story. Like, it's entertaining, okay? The story is entertaining, but it's like, it's junk food. It's not good for you. It's definitely not something you can rip apart and analyze. It's more or less just entertaining because of just the content that it covers. It's just like, really? And it's just like, is this really a manga? That's pretty much what I get from it. Now, obviously, my opinions can change as the story progresses, more chapters come out, you get the point, but at least from right now, the story isn't anything impressive that I could say is a masterpiece, you know, Zenith of the media, you know, it, it is not something that is the best thing I've ever seen, it's just straight up entertaining. If you have time to kill, like, let's say you have a few hours to kill, you can easily catch up. I believe there's like only 20-something chapters of the story right now currently, so it's not that long to really catch up if you're really wanting to, but let's get Continue on with the summary. So basically, after he finds out what happens to the winners or losers, the main character finds out who he's going to be facing and how he views this world. For instance, he views this entire world like a game because he was a major and great gamer in his previous world and he never lost. And so finding out that he can basically respawn, you know, he can use abilities and you know all this, he's like, this is basically like a game. And so his overall ego and pride comes into play, and he seems incredibly un hinged as an MC. You could probably dive in and really dissect him as a character just from that alone. But anyways, he finds out his opponent, and his opponent is, you know, the Knight of the Flames, Mary. And... I don't think I really need to describe just what's going on with this panel, but overall, he is fighting someone that legitimately could crush him with relative ease. And, um, all I'm gonna say is, is that, what would you do? <laughs> Anyways, jokes aside, he does, in the end, he announces to her what he's going to do, you can see on screen, and he does come out on top and wins in chapter 2, which I feel like that's as much as I want to talk about in terms of content without spoiling everything for those that are interested in reading it. I wanted to make this brief video really just uh, spotlighting just how unhinged Reincarnation Coliseum is. It's one of those rare series that I just happened to come across because obviously... You could call me down bad, whatever, but I came across it, and I was just like, you know what, I want to know what this is from, and then it led me on a spiritual journey. <laughs> so I'll leave you with that. Thank you so much for watching. Enjoy the series if you're going to read it. Chibi out.